Won't you come and go to meeting at the old campground? Help us tell the friends and neighbors in every town. There's a welcome at the meeting. God's Holy Spirit at the bound. Many sinners find the love of God at the old campground. When the Bible teacher and the praise of saints is often heard. Centennial Jubilee Celebration. 1986 marks the centennial celebration of the Church of God. The Church of God in Illinois is celebrating Jubilee, 50 years of effective ministry. During this year, we invite you to honor the past, occupy the present, and join with us to penetrate the future for Jesus Christ. And now, here's Ray Sanders, State Overseer. Hello, I'm Ray Sanders, Overseer for the Churches of God in the state of Illinois. The year 1986 is a very special year for the Church of God family around the world. This is our centennial year. It was in the year of 1886 when a group of eight men and women who dedicated themselves and sought God for direction and came together and formed what is known as the Church of God. The Church of God now has a membership of almost two million people, and we lift up the name of Jesus Christ in 107 countries around the world. 1986 is also a very special year for the Churches of God in Illinois, because 50 years ago in Benton, Illinois, a group of men and women raised an old ragged tent and came together in camp meeting style. This old ragged tent lasted for quite some time as they worshiped the Lord together. But then they got together, they cleared the land, they felled the trees, took the logs to the sawmill, brought the timbers back, and erected an open tabernacle. And this served them for many years. But about 10 years ago, the Church of God extended themselves and they enclosed the entire uh, tabernacle, extended it somewhat, built additional dormitory rooms and buildings, upgraded the facilities, and today we have one of the most beautiful camp meeting sites of any organization, or as far as that goes, anywhere in the Church of God. I'd like to ask you today to join with us as we go back and reminisce about some of the things that took place during those particular times. We believe that you will be inspired, we believe that you will be challenged, and we just hope that this presentation will help you realize where we've come from, what we plan to do in the future as we trust the Lord Jesus Christ. Our Pastor Rayford Black is in Carmi, Illinois, at the home of a lady who joined the Church of God, I believe, in 1917. Sister Margie Harewood. She also served as a faithful pastor's wife, and Pastor Rayford Black was also her pastor. And uh, he is in her home at this particular time and is going to be asking her some questions about what it was like in the earlier days of the Church of God. Be in the home today, uh, Sister Marjorie Harewood here in Carmine. I had the privilege of being Sister Harewood's pastor for two years, found her to be a tremendous, tremendous Christian. Sister Harewood, it's a privilege again to be in your home and to share uh, with you. Uh, you've been the member of, a, of the Church of God how many years, Sister Harewood? Since January the 17th, 19, and 13. So that brings in a many a years of many, many blessings. And interesting things. I was saved when I was 11 years old, 
sanctified and baptized with the Holy Ghost and a little later I became a member of the Church of God and I, I worked in just about all the departments that a minister's wife would work in in the church. I've sold real estate, I've sold automobiles, I've done everything in the line of work to build churches, mm -hmm. to help pay for churches. I used to never leave home without all that I could carry to sell before I got back home to pay on the church debt. And we've done about everything in the line of work to help pay for the churches that we build. And camp meetings, I've helped pay for about three or four camp grounds. And this year, well, I'm going to have to help pay for another one. And I've enjoyed every minute of it. I've been going to camp meetings ever since the first one they had here. And I, I enjoy it. It gets better every year. Last year we had the greatest camp meeting that I ever attended. And I'm expecting a greater one this year. Sister Harewood, some of the uh, interesting moments. Would you take the time to share with some camp meetings of uh, bygone days? Maybe, maybe you can recall some of the uh, men that preached and, and some of the uh, healings and great experiences. Yes. I remember they had the first camp meeting they ever had in Carmine. And that's been 50 years ago 50 years or better. Mm -hmm. And uh, our building was built just like a carousel. Mm -hmm. And I said uh, we had uh, preachers and it was only room for a little platform for just a few of the ministers and the, lay the ones that was in charge to be up there. And we had to sit under the trees around the building. And I, then we've had a, a greater better camp ground. The next one I think we've had, but Reverend John O. Yates, he preached at it. And uh, GA4, he's, those ministers are all gone now. But they were all great preachers and they preached at our camp meeting. And we had, uh, had them built where we just had uh, awnings. And they rolled the awnings up and the wind would blow through and nearly every camp meeting we'd have a storm, a bad storm or tornado and they'd have to let the sides down and then it got so bad that we had to do something else. Well they built in and uh, now then we it's built where the storms don't hurt us, don't bother us. We have a real camp meeting. We're right really now. privileged. You know uh, Sister Harewood, I was looking through the book here, Church of God of Illinois, uh, 65th anniversary uh, book and we were looking through here a moment ago and uh, there certainly has been some great changes that have taken place. The camp uh, uh, ground facilities now are much more modern and up to date yeah. and air conditioning. That's uh, right. Would you, do you like that better? you like the air conditioning better than me? <laughs> well I'm yes sure. but uh, it's, it's, I don't prefer the old <laughs> hard time, the bad time. Right. It's much more convenient now and you can sit in camp meeting and you enjoy it in comfort. But the power of God. But the power of the Lord is just the same. It's greater, much greater than it was back in them days Amen. when we first started. Amen. It's getting greater all the time. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today, yesterday, and forever. Yesterday, today, and forever. Well, what kind of attendance is uh, uh, Sister Harewood? Do you recall how many people attended camp meeting? Well, we always had a big crowd. Uh -huh. But uh, it gets greater every year because yeah, there's more people right. coming into the church, and I, it's remarkable how the Church of God has grown far beyond my expectation, and I think it's getting greater all the time. I enjoy it more every day. You love the Church of God. I love it. I know you do. It's my whole life. You're the one of those giving individuals I have ever met. You never stop giving. You support, uh, you, you, you you tithe to the church, not 10%. No. I know you tithe. Uh, 25%. 25%. The Lord account. gets every dime. 25% of every dollar I make. And uh, Christmas, again, we're back again. I, I come in your home and uh, there's presents all over your house. And you give I've never seen one person give away so much, and uh, 
It's amazing to me how you can do that. And of course we know that it's because of, of the fact you sow and you reap back the blessings and the That's dividends right. of Almighty God. That's right. You've trusted the Lord all your life. All my life. You get up at what time in the mornings? Oh, anywhere from 5 to <laughs> 6, 7 o'clock. 5, mostly 6, around 6, between 5 and 6. You don't go to bed at 4 in the, in the no, afternoon? No, I don't. <laughs> no, no. You're, you, and uh, cooking for people? You, you, are you still cooking for uh, some of the neighbors? I cook dinner, supper every day for somebody. Every day. And they, nobody... Everybody comes to my house goes out with a pie. I give everybody comes over here a pie. All over this town or wherever they're at. You, you I enjoy it. And those are homemade pies. Yeah. Those are not I horrible. enjoy every yes. bit of it. I enjoy right. working for the Lord. You can? Can? <laughs> well, I couldn't begin to tell you. Is your refrigerator empty? Refrigerator empty. Is your freezer empty? No, I got six full. The Bible said, was it David that said he did not see the righteous forsaken? I never or think about. I never think about uh, going hungry. I never think about being in need because I have no needs. The Lord supplies every need I have. Every need I have. And when I get sick, I don't stay sick. I get healed. I was healed here when you were here. I was healed. I had sugar diabetes in the worst stage. I had uh, rheumatoid arthritis. I had heart trouble. Mm -hmm. And I had every disease you could think of. I'd been in the Evansville Hospital four weeks. I lost my appetite. I didn't eat. I didn't eat anything for four weeks. And when the Lord healed me, my daughter, I asked she come in to see me and I asked her if she had any white beans cooked. She said, no, but I could sure cook you some if you'd eat them. I said, you just eat them and bring them to me. I said, the Lord has touched my body over here and I said, I feel like I could eat them. She went home and cooked me and brought a large cottage cheese full of white beans. And I said, now I want to tell you what I want you to put them in Polish sausage in. Mm -hmm. And she brought me that dish full, carton full, and I ate them, nearly all. I ate over half of them, and I eat, could eat them all, but I was afraid they'd kill me. Because I hadn't had anything on my stomach for over four weeks. They fed me through my veins, and uh, my hands were just picked to pieces where they used that old needle. And I hadn't walked or anything and seven doctors and they sent me home from the hospital with twelve hundred dollars worth of medicine and i got home i looked at it and i said uh, that's too medicine much medicine for anybody to take and i said i couldn't afford it no way and i said i'll i'll start out with half of it well i taken just about half of what i was supposed to take and i only taken it for about oh two months and then I broke out, I become allergic to it, and I broke out, off the shape I ever was. And uh, I went to the doctor, and he said, my, my, he said, you're allergic to that medicine. And I said, well, I'm going to quit every bit of it. And I quit it. Mm -hmm. And I've been trusting the Lord ever since. And I eat anything I want, nothing ever hurts me. <laughs> I don't have any problems with my health. Let's look at the state paper here. And uh, we were looking here at the uh, tabernacle. And uh, some of the people, this is the old tabernacle right here. Is that right? That's the first one was, if we ever had here. Okay. And a lot of these people in here, you know, of course, a lot of them have gone on to be with the Lord. Is that yeah, right? Yeah, most of them. Can you think of some of those that were probably, uh, that are in that picture there? Of course, that picture there is a little difficult to see. But can you think of some of those? You were there, were you not? Yeah. And that picture was taken? Yeah, that's the first camp, first camp meet we ever had here. And I believe it was about 50 years ago. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. You were telling me about uh, they pitched tents? Yeah, people brought uh, their little old tents and stretched them out on the campground. And uh, 
I had a tent out. We had a tent out there, out there, <laughs> and I bedded 12 people in that tent, and I cooked for 17 on a little old two burner gas stove. 17. People 17 people, people I fed, and I had people come there and visit me from Kentucky mm -hmm. for the camp meeting. And I entertained them out there and kept them all at the camp meeting and cooked for all of them. There's a carload of five of them. I'll tell you what, those bring back a lot of memories, I know, Yeah. Uh, to you. Yes. And what about uh, manifestations of God's Spirit? I want to talk about that a little bit. What are, going back to those days, can you recall some of the outstanding manifestations of Yes, Brother Black, I've seen people, I've seen people handle fire. I've seen a sister knee camp, this lady that joined the church the night I did. I saw her handle fire. Now, I've seen them handle snakes. Now, people don't believe in that nowadays. But I saw a brother, Archie Daniels. He was a, out a working for the church. They was a getting ready to build a building uh, on the side of a mountain. And he was out there a digging and a working, trying to get things, the lumber, to build a church. And he reached down to pull a log out of the way and a big old rattlesnake bit him right on the end of the finger. Mm -hmm. He said, I'm snake bit. Mm -hmm. And he said, no I ain't. Yes I am. And he turned up his hand and uh, this poison from that snake dripped out of his fingers. It bit him. It never even made him sick. It never hurt him a bit. So the Lord healed him. And the him. Lord healed him right there. To Harewood it has been an absolute pleasure to be in your home. And I I want to pray with you right now. And we're going to ask the Lord together. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I'm asking you, Lord, to move upon the hearts of each and every one that is viewing, dear Lord, this program right now. I ask you, Lord, to speak to their hearts. I ask you, Lord, to speak to their heart. And may they respond, Heavenly Father, to the gift or the memorial, Lord, that they can give in your name. We know, Lord, that it is your will, Father, that these monies move from mortgages to ministries. Will you allow the Lord right now to speak to your heart and to your life? Will you give yourself open to Him and let Him speak to you? For believe me today, as you give, so God will give back to you. As you ask of Him, so will He supply. I ask you to let the Lord, even now, speak to your heart. He is the supplier of all of our needs. When the choir begins to sing with all their might And the people start shouting, it's a sight, it's a holy 